and good morning America. Welcome back to the 21st annual Christmas Today. Scheduled for you, we have several interviews, including a very surprising one with the Virgin Mary, who is uh, somehow apprehended somewhere in Bethlehem. Despite what people might say or how I might dress, I am a virgin. You know, at first he was really mad because he's like, oh, you're not a virgin. And I'm all, I am. It's God's baby, you know? It's not my fault. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a little heartbroken that I am still a virgin <laughs> and I'm pregnant. And it's not his, you know? It hurts him. But he can't be mad at God. It's going to be a beautiful baby. We also have a very exciting interview with an elf who happens to be extremely upset with the Christmas system. I'd like to say that people really need to take a stand here and notice what the elves are doing. It's all about Santa. You know what? Half of Christmas is the elves! Our next story for you is a beautiful, heartfelt story between two loved ones. Well, would you like to go first? No. Well, we have a lot of stuff to do. We um, have to pack the sleigh and take care of the reindeer and bake the cookies and bread. And then the bread burns and it's always blamed on me. And then like, I have to clean up after the reindeer and pack the sleigh. We make the toys, we bake the cookies, we feed the elves, and you know what? I don't see Miss Claus doing anything. Uh-uh, I see her just sitting around and it's just it's uncalled for. We have to do all the work and like they eat all the food. Like, well, who do you think makes that? I have to make it like all the time and I have to help you guys. Well, you're not the only one making food. Well, it feels like that because you never do. I mean, you like always mess it up. So like I have to be the one who has to like make it right. You know what I mean? Well, some of us can't be as perfect as you. <laughs> but you know what? Santa should really, really have her have the same rights as us. It's not good. She gets high rights because he's, she's her do his daughter. I mean, come on. I help a lot with this. Um, I feed the reindeer all the time. They kind of just ignore us most of the time. We sleep a lot. You know what? That little Miss Claus, she says that she does it all the time, but it's me. Yeah, it's me. I have to deal with them every day. And you know what? They smell. They don't really feed us much. We kind of got to find our own food usually. And I make toys with the elves. Oh my god. Can we just talk about that for a second? And I like pretend to be happy when I see kids come to my house. I like, I, I help out a lot more. You have no idea how it is to be an elf, okay? It's a hard enough life to be an elf. That should be the cover song for my life and every other elf. I'm scared for my baby, but this hay bed looks just fabulous. And I think it's gonna, you know, it'll just, God wanted it this way. Otherwise, he would have put me in a hotel, a nice Ritz Carlton or whatever, you know. But whatever, God wants it this way, wants me to suffer like all men do. But, you know, it's just an amazing thing. If God wanted you to be this way, you would know what I mean, but he didn't because he likes me. You know, it really is the child of God. It's gonna be beautiful. I just have to keep saying that. This is going to be an amazing event. Um... Oh, God. Yeah. Earlier today at approximately 6.30 p.m., several elves were arrested for elf trafficking. Apparently they were immigrants and were not supposed to be in the States and had no visa in hand. We got a call from the Department of Immigration saying that we had a fake Santa transporting um, transporting legal immigrants across the border, so I'm going to check that out. Hopefully there's nothing. I don't know, we might run into some trouble, maybe. maybe I'm going to stop on that bell, thank you. So, uh, I got a call. I was uh, just wondering, how's it going, Santa, though? Uh, excellent, we're getting some money. Um, uh, people aren't that generous, but you know how it is. Uh, what's in the bag there? There's nothing in that bag. No, then, you mind, you mind if I check it out? Uh, hey. sure, it's your business, obviously. All right, thank you. Come back here! Don't bring me! We got the situation under control. Santa, we got a 10 fool requesting backup illegal out transportation! Look, officer, I'm just trying to get to an old hey. Several owls have also expressed to authorities that they're upset with 
working conditions and are planning on contacting OSHA. We're cramped. This is me moving in the workshop. Okay? Because I have it up here and I have it up here. And you know what? They both smell. Because Santa doesn't have good air conditioning. I know we're in the North Pole, but when you're in a room with like over 500 elves and they're all making toys and they're all sweating, it gets pretty hot. Yeah, the elves have actually have a dormitory on our property and I mean, they're always like, they're really loud. They're not very like respectful, I guess you'd say. Seven days a week and 22 hours. So we get about like, I don't know, four hours of party. No, like two hours of party. So that's when we really get the, we bring out the eggnog. And it's just really hard to put up with them, you know? Well, I mean, she's pretty fun with the elves, so you know. It's not true. There was no scandal between me and any of the elves. We're just like, I'm just friends with them. You know what? I am going to write up. I'm going to write something up. The elves are the ones who are always like, they, they're the ones who do this kind of People stuff. People judge you how you keep your character. And, you, and that's why I'm a good girl, okay? Every kid is on the good list. I don't know of one kid who's on the bad list. So then if every kid's on the good list, then that means I have to make more toys than normal. And if I have to make more toys than normal, then I have to make extra because most of them break. And then my fingers hurt. And I don't have medical insurance. I have to like uphold this family honor, okay? And like you got, okay, it's really oh, hard yeah, to be you're around them. Holding the family honor. Seriously, I think that Santa's helpers are probably the number one most abused elves, okay? Because I wouldn't really go outside after a while because none of the other reindeer accepted me. I just wanted to be like them. First of all, I don't think it's any of the newspaper's business, but I, for one, would like to go to counseling with them because I think they need it. They would like pour trash all over me and hit me. Like shoe elves, they're pretty much free because all they get to do is just make shoe. The old what? The councils all they do is accuse you, like saying, "Oh, you're bipolar. You need to take medication." Ooh, maybe you should listen to them. They are professionals. I can't really remember my own. I tried to block them from my memories. Honestly, the elves in Lord of the Rings would have it so much easier than us. They, they like fight all the time. That's like all you guys do. And go to couples therapy. Yeah, like that's helping. In the North Pole, they wouldn't last. Sometimes the elf brings stuff out to us. We're strong. We're really strong. And like, we don't see her much. She mostly stays inside. It's pretty cold out here. Yeah, I'd much rather do that than make stupid toys for kids I'm never even gonna see. I mean, I'm not even an elf. Like, why should I have to do that? Because everybody must do their part. What do you, what do you do? All you do is like burn the cookies. I do not burn the cookies! I remember I was sleeping one night and this beautiful angel came down, Gabriel. I'm sorry. Hold the cameras for me. Well, I liked Moses. But, that'd be a little cliche. I, d I did like John, but that's a little plain. I don't know, I, I heard the name Jesus somewhere and I just felt Jesus Christ. That sounds good. Um, um, so this beautiful angel came down to me, Gabriel, and he touched my stomach and told me that everything was gonna be okay and that, God wanted me to have his baby. I'm sorry. Because you know the generation before my generation just let Santa boss them around. But you know what? We're not going to let him push us around anymore. Okay? We're done with that. Yeah, well, that's like really tired. Nobody wants to do this but you. I mean, everybody is like, the elves are sick of this. But why? All those children! You know what? Christmas is even my favorite holiday, okay? If you really want to know my favorite holiday, it's Thanksgiving, because I get to eat for once. Don't cry. It's okay. I'm... It's okay, Mom. I'm not really... And, and th and talking about Thanksgiving, Santa didn't even have it this year because he had decided to have an early start on making toys. So I didn't get to have turkey. You know how you know how I feel about that. 
Thank you very much. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas day. I hope you can look inside yourselves and really realize what Christmas is all about. I'm done. I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Look, it's kicking. <laughs> it's kicking. Oh. <laughs> and that's why I'm looking into boarding school. I mean, I don't even want to be here. It's like freezing oh, cold like all the time. Santa always tells us, smile and always be jolly. But you know what? After a while, like, it's hard. And everybody has emotions. I mean, come on. Yes, the elves are extremely pissed, but most people happen to be in a very good state of mind. However, I probably am not going to enjoy Christmas this year, seeing as my wife kicked me out. Monopoly. Shoots and ladders. Bingo. <laughs> Well, my given name is Maxwell Claus, but I rather uh, go uh, by the name of. <coughs> well, I go I go by several names. I have pseudonyms because I'm, I'm a writer.